huge opportunity coming is writing apps for a TV, which is uh, Kevin Rose talking about it today. But there is another huge opportunity, even bigger, which is writing apps for your body, the iBody store. I was just thinking about this this morning as I, uh, I was playing with, um, well, first my uh, Wi-Fi, why things scale you you put it puts your weight on the internet and shares it which i've been sharing um, since the web last year and i've been playing as well with runkeeper which by the way has a very good um, new uh, website linked to the iphone and android apps which when you run or you bike or whatever activity you do will send your performance to uh, to to the um, to, to this site and keep it for you and share it with your friends on Twitter and Facebook, which is a great way to uh, get um, motivation, get social pressure if you get fat and you don't, you know, you don't whatever you you, you see what I mean. It's like playing. They have teams and so on, and uh, it's actually a good way for me to keep motivated. I like it. I like sharing and so on. But if you think about it, it could be seen as a like an a, a body API where uh, if you think about it, it's data coming from my body. So it's weight, it's very basic for now. It's weight, it's speed, performance, it's uh, body, uh, what is it? The body, there is something of an index with fat index or something. And then the performance as you're running and uh, as you are biking and, and so on. So this is data, it's really basic. It's only a, it's a read only API which is measured by those you know, two apps, basically. And what I'd like is to see, so first they connect together now, which is really cool. So you can have your weight uh, graph inside RunKeeper. They, they connect it together, and I heard that came actually from a meeting at the web, which made my day, so thanks for tweeting about that. But if you think about it, it's a beginning of an app store for your body, because that's the in, but now how about if you start connecting uh, food suggestions or recommendations from, say, a nutritionist who would do recommendations based on that data, based on how much fat you got, based on how much you exercise or not exercise. Add to this the, uh, the eye toilet, um, which is a device that has to happen one day. The eye toilet, as you go on it, will measure a lot of more um, you know, data from your body, uh, such as the one when you get a health check, they'll, they'll get your your blood pressure, they'll do a blood test, and so on. So I'm not sure you can get everything from the eye toilet, but sure you can get a lot. And so add this, and you can connect a doctor that would, you know, monitor your body remotely and give you recommendations on things you things you should do. So that's like the the the, the in of the API where you can start writing to your body by accepting for third-party apps to um, interact with it. So think about the, uh, uh, the, uh, um, the, the, the hearing impaired who have now very tiny devices who get them to hear better than, than you and me uh, because they, 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 the technology is so good that now you can hear better. They, they, you should read, uh, again, Ray Kurzweil's uh, uh, book, The... Um, uh, singularity is near because I, Ray also talks about uh, how vision can be improved uh, of course in the future and all kinds of devices that you will start wearing or interacting with your body is a little maybe pushing it too much but it's very interesting to think about it so I think the eye body store is coming uh, if you if you forget about the future and the eye toilet and all that kind of stuff <laughs> Uh, the apps are already there, like we are seeing the beginning of it. The, the, the apps that measure your fitness, measure your weight, are the beginning of an app store for your body. So what, what are the apps you think would be cool for your body? Hmm. I can think of many. I'll think about it some more. What, what do you think?